Hey Cheryl, I'm just uh, working on this worksheet right here for you. Um, uh, you can have them write it two times if you want, um, but the uh, the numbers will be off. You get one, two, three, four, five, six. This way, numbers one, two, three all match up. Uh, anyway, I was just doing a, uh, a click on here, just doing a short answer, and then you can add your correct answer. In this case, would be uh, grumble. Uh, you can also, like for Connecticut here, you can also make sure it's case sensitive, so it has to be a capital C. You can do that. Um, anyway, you can get rid of your answer keys by hitting delete here. Uh, circle the correct spelling. So I don't know about this one. Um, you can... Um, Hmm. Do a show you show your work. Mm, I don't know. I'm experimenting here, so I don't really know what uh, what you can do for circling. This is just kind of an experiment here. Sorry. Um. Well, it's not a graph. I don't know if there's anything that allows you to actually write right on it here. So, unless you just want to make them. Um, or, what you could do here is, I'm uh, just thinking outside the box here, multiple choice. And you could say, um, you could say row one here, you can add an option, is it uh, comic, um, comic, or comac? And then, obviously do it that way if you want. So, I don't know, would that work for you? We could try it out again. Row 2. Um, a stretch. Uh... Ostrich or ostrich. I'm not a very good speller, so hopefully I'm doing this right. But anyway, um, then you can get rid of your key here. Read each sentence aloud. The student writes out each sentence. Um, uh, once again, you can do short answer. You can say number one, add the correct answer. The contestant was pleased with her extravagant gift. You can do case sensitive. Make sure that you type it right. Was pleased with her extravagant gift. Um, you can do it that way if you want, though that kind of defeats the purpose of having a document like this. Um, <sighs> hmm. I don't know, if you have the PDF open in a separate page, um, It downloads. Here's the one you sent me. Uh, sometimes it allows you to copy and paste here. So here I'm copying. Control C. Going back to my my formative wherever it went. Oh, 
it's over here. And then Uh, how about sentence two? Let's see if it copies and pastes. Aha, it did. All right, so you can copy and paste them. It's that easy. Case sensitive. Sentence one. So you can go to number three. Oh, you know what? Here, watch this. You can do, you can copy it here. Makes a number 10, sentence 3, and then I can move it, eh, kind of, uh, and then I can pull this out, copy, I'm hitting Alt-Tab here by the way if you don't know what that is, Alt-Tab, and then Alt A, or oh, sorry, Control A, Control V, ignorant to the law. We need a period there, and keeps us case sensitive. Anyway, um, so anyway, I'm just kind of uh, okay. So for this one, you can click here. You can leave an audio file if you want. So you can record audio and it says, well, I don't know. It probably won't let re me record audio now because I'm making a video. But uh, you can record audio and then make another um, short answer question right here. So you can say something like, for your first sentence, please write the following, or something like that, and then you can say, um, you know, like, listen to this sentence, or here you go, just repeat the directions up here, write each sentence after teacher reads it to you and then you can say here's the correct answer you can say I don't know I jumped very high today I don't know and then you can um, uh, copy that Oops. Copy that. I'm going to show up for number two here. Change this out to It hurt when Cheryl kicked me um, and then make it case sensitive, make it case sensitive, um, go back here and add the little, uh, audio file. Oh, oops, alright, so the audio file is after this, so I can grab it and move it up here, I think. I should be able to grab it and move it up here. Yep, okay, so it worked. So it moves it before. So when the student sees it, preview, student preview, this is what they see. So number one, number two, they see row one, row two. Oops, I need to go back and fix that. Sentence one. Read each sentence aloud. Students write down each sentence. Okay, so you can put an audio file with this too if you want. Write each sentence after a teacher reads it to you. Nothing was recorded, nothing recorded, but, um, you know, you saw the option there. 
I actually used that audio option once on a test where there were special instructions that were a little maybe unclear. So I know it works. Um, I'm going to go out of this mode. Oh, you can also see if they're working on a cell phone. This is what it looks like on their cell phone. So anyway, hopefully they have Chromebooks. Uh, so I'm going to get out of this mode. Go on, see what else is here. Word bank. Write a sentence for each word in the word bank. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if there's a way of doing this uh, without telling them like this. Like you or yeah, use the word. Um, comic in a sentence and then um, allow partial match and put comic in there I think that will work well work a little bit at least um, then I can copy it here and I can just swap out the word uh, use the word Rumble in a sentence. You can just go on um, down the line doing that if you want. Uh, you can get rid of this one, it's the key. Do the same thing here if you want. Get rid of this one. Alright, Cheryl, so I um, hope that answers your questions. And, uh, yeah, see you next time.